Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Shoelaces Connor 4002. Thanks for the suggestion, Connor. You asked, how is platinum made? Platinum is that fancy metal you hear about in jewelry commercials, car parts, and rap songs. But where does it actually come from? And no, the answer isn't just, the earth burps it out. The journey from raw rock to shiny platinum is an insane mix of geology, patience, and enough chemistry to make your old high school teacher shed a single tear of pride. Let's uncover how platinum is made, right here on Explaining Everything. Platinum starts its story millions, actually billions of years ago in the Earth's crust and mantle. While you and I were not so patiently waiting for pizza delivery, deep inside the Earth, ridiculous amounts of heat and pressure were cooking up this rare metal. Unlike copper or iron, platinum isn't just hanging out everywhere. It hides in tiny specks inside ore deposits, often mixed with other elements like nickel, copper, or iron. Think of it as nature's version of a stingy friend who always says, yeah, I've got snacks, but then offers you one stale cracker. The places where platinum shows up are special geologic regions called layered mafic intrusions. These are giant underground magma chambers that cooled slowly enough for heavy metals to settle into layers. South Africa's Bushveld complex is basically platinum's hometown, producing around 70% of the world's supply. Russia and Canada also chip in. But South Africa is like Platinum's main club promoter. Once we've found a Platinum hotspot, it's time to mine it. And Platinum is a total diva. It does not come out of the ground easily. Miners blast and dig deep underground tunnels, sometimes more than a mile below the surface, to reach the Platinum-bearing ore. Imagine working in a cave so far down, you could basically wave at the core of the Earth. Not exactly the kind of Airbnb you'd want to book. The ore itself doesn't look like treasure. It's just a chunky grey rock that's about 5 grams of platinum per ton. That means for every car-sized pile of rock, you're only getting enough platinum to make maybe one tiny ring. It's like sifting through a mountain of trail mix just to find three M and M's. After mining, the ore is hauled up, crushed into gravel, and sent to a concentrator. This is where the magic begins. The rock is ground down to powder and mixed with water and chemicals in a process called froth flotation. Picture a giant bubble bath for rocks. The platinum particles attach to the bubbles and float, while the boring leftover rock sinks. Basically, platinum is like, sorry peasants, I'm lighter than you. Now we've got a concentrate that actually has noticeable amounts of platinum, but still nowhere near pure. Which brings us to the next step, smelting. Smelting is where science gets spicy. The concentrate is heated in a furnace to blistering temperatures like 1,500 degrees Celsius. At that point, the rock melts down into layers. The heavier stuff, called mat, sinks, while lighter waste, called slag, floats on top. It's like making a fancy molten-layered lasagna, except it can burn through your house. But wait, platinum still isn't ready to party. The mat contains not just platinum, but also nickel, copper, cobalt, and even traces of other platinum group metals, like palladium and rhodium. It's basically a chaotic metal family reunion. To separate them, 
chemists use a series of processes involving acids, solvents, and electro-refining. Platinum's the star, but it has to go through what's basically metal boot camp, being dissolved, filtered, precipitated, and purified. If you've ever watched reality TV, imagine that, but with way more hydrochloric acid. Finally, after endless refining, you get platinum sponge, a fine gray powder that is almost pure platinum. From there, it can be melted into solid bars or shaped into whatever form is needed. So yeah, platinum doesn't just come out shiny. It takes mining, melting, and some chemistry wizardry worthy of Hogwarts to get there. Now that we've got platinum sponge, how do we turn it into those shiny bars and coins that make investors drool? Simple. Melt it again, but this time under very controlled conditions. Platinum melts at about 1,768 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than lava. It's so heat-resistant that even furnaces struggle with it. Once it's melted, it can be poured into molds to form ingots or pressed into coins and bars. The result is pure, gleaming platinum, ready to be sold, stored, or transformed. Each bar represents months of labor, insane amounts of energy, and literal tons of rock that had to be dug up just to get a few ounces. It's no wonder this metal is considered one of the rarest and most valuable on Earth. The whole process, from mining underground tunnels to refining powder to casting bars, is basically a marathon. Platinum makes you work for it. Honestly, if platinum were a person, it'd be the kind who says, sure, you can hang out, but only if you solve this riddle, climb this mountain, and survive three chemistry exams. It's a long, complicated journey for such a small amount of metal. But that's the magic. Platinum is rare, stubborn, and tough to get, which is exactly why it holds such value. Next time you see platinum shining in a display case, remember, that tiny bar or ring represents millions of years of geology, miles of underground tunnels, and a whole lot of stubborn chemistry. It's not just a metal, it's a story written in fire, rock, and human determination. If you learned something new about how platinum is made, don't forget to like, subscribe, and maybe you just need to work more on yourself to reveal your inner shine. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.